Hello guys, welcome to Python and Machine Learning Daily. I'm a big fan of practical projects to learn from, so today we will tackle another Upwork real job, real project, which would pay $750. It's a task that we can actually perform in a few hours of coding with Python. The goal is reconciliation of Excel files. I will link the original job in the description below, or you can pause this video and read that in full. I will zoom it out a bit. But basically, you have three Excel files and instruction. These are the Excel files. So this is the file they scan in rooms. Then they check that with reference files for barcode numbers. Do they exist or not? And that could be either way. The scanned item may not exist in the reference file or vice versa. And the result of that, the result of reconciliation Python script would be the result Excel file with both scanned items and referenced items with the status, whether it's a new item, found item without changes, or see if something changed. So in this video, I will show you step by step how we did it with my colleague Modestas in this Jupyter Notebook. This will be a good practice of Pandas library with a bit of NumPy and general data transformation with Python. So first we need to read those Excel files and we will do that into two data frames of Pandas. So this is what we do. We import the libraries of NumPy and Pandas. Then we'll have another function of figuring out the status and we will get to that function in a minute. But now reading the Excel files to read Excel functions from pandas with converters. This is quite important. If we don't convert the numbers, they would look as floats in the result instead of strings. So let me show it visually. So if we do read Excel with converters, that barcode number is a string. But if we don't do converting and do something like this, the result for some of the fields may be flow, like for example, funding code, which should be string. And since later we need to compare the values to avoid these misunderstandings, it's a good practice to have converters for different columns of Excel. So we do the same for both files. And then we also we need to insert one more key, which will be part of the algorithm of comparison. So barcode number is the actual field to reconciliate on kind of primary key, but we will need to compare that primary key in the scan and in the reference file. And for convenience to have that key in one column, we will insert that in one data frame like this and in another data frame as well like this. And now you will understand why with the next action. We will do pandas merge and merge outer merge, which means we will take both data frame rows with key as primary key for comparison. And then we'll add suffixes for convenience, scan and reference files. If we don't do that, it would be X and Y by default, but this would be clear. So the result, if we execute that cell of Jupyter Notebook is this, we have seven rows. I remind you there were six rows in one file and five rows in another file. So there's one totally new row, which is with barcode number 12667. But also there is a row with barcode number 11965, which doesn't exist in this file. So in total, if we merge, we have seven rows. Our next step is assign the status, whether it's from scan or from reference, and find the differences. Of course, to understand it in full, you need to read the job description with the algorithm. It's coded with letters C, F, and an M. But my goal with this video is to show you the idea of transformations with pandas and Python. And I will put the code on GitHub and we'll link that in the description below so you can practice on your own a bit later. So currently we have those seven rows and the next step that we need is transform those NAN values into Python native none because later we will compare them and if we don't do that, just trust me, it wouldn't work. So we replace those with none and actually let's also show the diffs. So now we have none here instead of NAN, which is not a number. And now this is the status column, which we insert by applying a function which we saw already above and this is the time to get to that function. So the result, first the result is the status column with different letters. As I said, four different options. So let's see the logic of that function which would work with specific 
row. So we have the row of x and then we have various fields. And this is where we need those underscore reference and underscore scan with different barcode numbers. And this is why we need the key. So the key stays the same. Again, let me show you. The key stays the same, but barcode number for scan and reference could be compared. So if there's no reference barcode, but there is scan barcode, which means letter M, new line in one file. The other way around, if there's a reference barcode and no scan barcode, it's a new line with letter M and we return that immediately. Otherwise, we populate two dictionaries, reference data and scan data, and then go through all those columns. And if at least one column is not equal, then we return C, which stands for changed. Otherwise, we return F means found and unchanged. So yeah, this is how you can add a column to your pandas data frame with the value as a custom function from that row with your custom logic. And then you just do on data frame, let's head back, data frame apply with insert zero column, column number zero, and access equals one means we're adding a column, not a row. And this is the result, as you saw already. The next part, are there any columns that we need to change the values? The next step, are there any columns that we need to change, change their values? So if the value is M, the status value is M, then we refer to the original description. If there's a change, then the data from the scan file is what is used for the final export file. So this is exactly what is implemented here with again apply function from pandas and this time we use lambdas function. I will shoot a separate video about lambdas functions in Python. But for now, what you need to understand is just we are assigning the values according to this logic. And then the cleanup. So by this stage, we have almost the same data frame with just some values changed. And then we need to do what? Remove the key because it was a temporary column, which we don't actually need. And then rename those underscore scan and remove underscore reference columns. So with in place true, we are changing the same data frame. So again, removing the scan, removing the key and removing the reference columns. The result is our final data frame, which you can export to whatever Excel, CSV, or whatever you want. So yeah, this is the Python and Pandas library code written in a couple hours to perform the task, the real task on Upwork, which would again pay $750. Again, I will put the code on GitHub along with Excel files so you can play around yourself. What do you think about such practical projects? If you have any more ideas for other projects, shoot them in the comments below. And my general advice is to learn Pandas library for Python with various transformations because it's one of the most useful skills for Python developers. Whatever project you're working with, machine learning, data science, chatbots or whatever, data transformation and working with lists and pandas, data frames will be almost always beneficial. Subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one and see you guys in other videos.